morning everybody. I am currently situated in Parma, Ohio, about to arrive at my pickup here. I guess this is Cleveland technically. This is kind of interesting. I thought it might be, but I didn't really get a chance to look at this on the maps very much. Um, so, sunshine here and also of course I've been driving a lot at night and stuff like that so it feels weird though like it just I'm usually going to bed at this time <laughs> you know I just been it I was waking up maybe about maybe five o'clock in the afternoon and then I'll roll until like is it around this time maybe about five six o'clock in the morning definitely feels a little weird This is kind of like a Texas design here where, oh, it's an off-ramp, but there's like a side road that I got to get over, and fortunately this is two lanes, so I'm going to have to kind of force my way over there, unfortunately. Thanks, dude. I got to get over, man. Come on, people. Thank you. Freaking dickheads, man. That guy was nice, but that SUV, man, he just, he was not going to let me over. Man, what a douchebag, dude. I guess some people just still don't understand that we can't go in that left lane. If we did, we'd have to run people off the road or end up hitting something, so... When there's two lanes, you always want to go in the right lane, so... Well, that's if you're turning left. Some... If you have a right turn, right, not even this and clear with the both left and right turn. Some, you can get away with it. Um, some are designed to where you can go in either lane, it doesn't really matter, but it just, it really depends. This is supposed to be This is 
my turn here. All right, guys. So I think I'm kind of right here where I need to be here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to find my way in here and get checked in. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. I am back. They have assigned me to dock seven. Oh no, they are probably or town having me go into like an indoor type thing there but I they wouldn't answer the phone so been told that this facility is just one big circle here so we just gotta it's more of a door than a dock Seven even exist? I'm confused, dude. Like, where, where am I going exactly? <laughs> like, in that six.
Okay, so this says it's dock seven. Do we just pick a door? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what in the hell, dude? I guess we'll pick one. I mean, that's the only thing that's really available, I can see. That would make sense. doors here. guys so let me go check and make sure we're good here i'll be right back with you guys all righty guys so a little bit of interesting stuff happening right now so apparently i'm supposed to be a freaking flatbed how the hell could somebody miss this important detail there's just no way somebody could have missed this like i'm just like really confused right now with just all this stuff that has been going on and just incorrect information it's one thing out there freaking another man i i am getting annoyed at this this has got to stop here man <sighs> so i called the dispatch and i told her what was happening and she's definitely gonna go in and figure something out here because yeah we don't do flatbed services us 
Express has nothing to do with flatbeds. I don't think they even own a flatbed trailer. So, yeah, you know, like I said, how somebody can miss this freaking detail is beyond me. But, you know, I will let you guys know and, you know, try to get something figured out here. All right, guys, I am back. My camera is about to die here, so hopefully I can make this um, pretty quickly here. So, they thought it would be kind of interestingly. So, what they end up doing is literally taking... They're like, I don't really know how to explain it. They're like steel crates. And they literally had a forklift on the ground and shoving them inside the trailer. Because, like I said, they wanted a flop bed. Still, how somebody could mess this the most important thing in freaking industry probably ever? The right equipment you need? How's the my messes? I don't know. <laughs> but we are now on our way here. Hopefully we don't run into any more bumps in the road here. As we head to Indiana. Hopefully they don't require flatbed too and can't get this load out because that's gonna be interesting too. I really hope that's not the case, but it wouldn't surprise me. But, yet again, how they're going to get this out of here, I don't know. I saw that they are going to have to figure out. Hey, that was a damn thing. Alright guys, well, before this camera dies here, um... You know, I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up here. And, you know, I will see you guys when we get to Indiana here. Boy.